from the other side. to get on the other side. Feel great.
Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You! After peace was made, 
Eva murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter, in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Eivor gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery, and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. sails into a singing glory on the flaming water steeds. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapsha an ally. I should confer with Randri.
Novid, the settlement looks quite festive. The Yule celebration is here. It's midwinter, Eivor. Time to drink, fight, and compete in hopes of a bounteous harvest. Yolnir, the Yule God, smiles on us. The days will soon grow longer, my friend. It's all a glorious rebirth about to begin. And you did all this? Not exactly. On a scouting mission, Sunyva and I met a group of... Uh, uh, we call them revelers. They did most of the work. Sunyva's manning the fistfight tournament. <laughs> all in good fun. Meanwhile, I have opened my own shop. Rather than silver, we use what I call Yule tokens. I made them myself. They certainly look homemade. Thank you, yes. Now, before we begin our celebrations, we need to get the brewery and the cattle farm ready for the Yule Feast. And you'd like me to do that, I suppose? I would. And since I'm so fond of you, have some Yule tokens. I expect to see you at the celebrations later. This looks worth trying. A drinking game always is. <laughs> the rules are, one, you drink until you're the last one standing. Two, end the rules. <laughs> Want to play? Of course. Again, any time. What is all this? A new Yule game to test your skill. Twirling targets. You shoot as many spinning targets as you can, as quick as you can. Care to give it a go? Put a bow in my hand.
Take a moment to center yourself, and then go. Ha! I thought you were a warrior. Freya's love, incredible shooting! Glad I bet on you to win this! By Odin's eye, you shoot well! Anticipate the spinning target, my friend! You make this look easy! Shoot right when the target turns towards you, Abel. You make your ancestors proud. You're halfway there, Abel. Freya's love, incredible shooting. You make your ancestors proud. You make this look easy. By Odin's eye, you shoot well. Glad I bet on you to win this. By Odin's eye, you shoot well. You make this look easy. Time's almost up. Not bad, but I'm sure you can do better. Try again if you like. Avo, have you seen Wallace? Suniva, Norvid told me you had set something up. A fighting competition. The greatest fighting competition this land has ever seen! Any rules? Yes. The rules are simple. Fight, drink, fight! And remember, Abel, the more participants, the bigger the pot. If you ever find any willing fighters, bring them to join in. Now! Are you ready to begin, my powerful friend? You know I'm ready.
let us do this again next year. We are allied with Shirapshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Shielbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon.
not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? That is my view. So you hold no stock in faith? Only the... The science of the divine. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene. Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So... Where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together.